You know, the founder of BTI was Boyce Thompson. Boyce Thompson wasn't a scientist. He was a private citizen. He came to the belief through a visit to Russia around the time of the revolution that there was a link between food security and political stability. We care about both those things today as much as we did before. Boyce Thompson came to the belief that research was the key to food security. And that's true today as it was then. As the population grows, as environmental challenges grow, we need to produce not just the same amount of food, we actually need to produce more. We need to produce better with a smaller impact on the environment. The Green Revolution came from discoveries about how plants grow and develop. The great leaps forward in discovery and plant research uh, are built on the backs of technology. The ability to move genes around, the ability to extract cells and grow them independently, the ability to regenerate plants from single cells, and now the ability to gather information and obviously the mission of the founder was research and to carry out that mission the best they needed an environment where they would be more closely linked to people whose main interest was really discovery I mean the leading edge of discovery and what better place to do that than uh, a research university where the undergraduates the graduate students and the postdoctoral fellows are here because of the research environment The great thing about research is that you wake up every morning being able to discover something new, learn something new about, in this case, the natural world. So there have been sort of two maybe goals in my life. The first is just uh, satisfying a curiosity about fundamental processes in plants. And the plant immune system is really interesting to study. It's become apparent recently that there's corollaries between the plant immune system and the human immune system. So we can actually study things in plants and understand them more easily than you can do in humans. So a big part of my motivation is just basic curiosity about the natural world. We do a range of things. We do some genomics analyses, um, a lot of genetics, molecular biology and cell biology. I would say that a large part of the research that we do is hypothesis driven research. We um, also generate a lot of uh, genomic data and from that um, build new hypotheses which we then uh, will test. But what is it we really do here? You know, in order to advance, you know, human health, the environment, and uh, agriculture, it takes a lot more now than plant science. It takes engineers, it takes comp computational biologists, it takes, uh, it takes physicists in some cases. You have to cut across disciplines. It's not the same old, same old anymore. It's not a plant research institute. It's a research institute where discoveries are made that are relevant to human health, environment and agriculture, naturally that means a lot of plant-based work. The summer intern program gives us an opportunity to bring in students from other universities that maybe wouldn't normally get the chance to do research. So we've had students come from Puerto Rico, from Mississippi, from a, a rural a college in Iowa. Uh, from all over the country, from typically from colleges or universities where they just wouldn't have a research opportunity. We're looking at binding proteins of salicylic acid which are involved in plant immunity. What I'm doing is RNA-seq analysis. What I've spent my time here doing is creating gene constructs. We try to give them an experience, a true lab experience, so that they can get to see what it's like to be in a lab, what it's like to be a scientist, and what, it is, what you would do every day if this was going to be your career. I've always had this interest in plants, and I've really never been able to explore that in a research setting, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do so. BTI has four floors and so many f uh, areas of field research that we can utilize as interns here. And that has been amazing because um, at my school we just don't have these opportunities. But mostly for the summer interns, it's an experience. We call it a research experience. We don't call it a production line experience. So the expectation is that these kids will come in, they will learn something, they might inspire us, we might inspire them. Maybe not so much that we, we hope all of them will become plant scientists. We want all of them to understand and appreciate what research is like, what is discovery like, what is it 
What kind of uh, environment is it? We're taking um, small pieces of glass, turning them into electrodes, really, really thin electro electrodes, and injecting um, RNA into uh, the cells. Just seeing the side of the cell kind of just like, you know, kind of puncture slowly and then pop right through this glass electrode. That was, that was really cool. I think they gain something from that and, and we like, you know, feeling like we're contributing to them maybe getting excited about plant science. Um, at the same time, it's an important part of the research process in my own lab is for the postdocs and the graduate students to be able to mentor these young uh, budding scientists. My mentor is phenomenal. Um, my lab technician, Allison, is great. She's so, she's, she's really handy. She knows how to do everything. Um, the students here are great. Um, the facilities are great. Uh, the town, Ithaca itself, is really, really great. Um, there's no other words other than great, really. So these interns are passing through here for a few weeks. So let's think about it broadly as an experience that becomes that segment of their life that, where they learn something. You know, maybe it was critical thinking, maybe it was organizational skills, maybe it was communication skills, maybe it was teamwork, collaboration. You know, all the values we have here at BTI. Everybody in this building is part of the BTI mission. So I think there is a tremendous uh, support staff here. Uh, there are scientists coming from countries all over the world, so it's very internationally uh, oriented. Um, and, and it's a friendly place to work with great infrastructure. It's a very, very exciting place to do research and it's also a, a place where um, people, I think, are truly committed and, and enjoy what they're doing.